Within this lesson, we're going to be talking about div. So divs are also a very commonly used element within HTML, and these are opening and closing. And the way that divs work is that they're similar to the paragraphs and the h tags, where when you have one set of divs and you open and you close it, it actually creates a new line. So we can see here that, uh, so this is our second set of divs here. Uh, so it's the same content. And when we close that first div, it opens up and brings the content over to a new line. And so divs are used to really structure out your website. Uh, so we can have divs within divs. We can have multiple divs. Sometimes you'll see uh, divs given an ID. So they'll have something like container or wrapper or uh, given values that, that just makes sense and help the website to be easier to understand and the website coding to be easier to understand. So you could do something like this and like that. And then as well, uh, they can also be used to really break down all of these different lessons. So usually what we would probably do is something like this lesson or we could just do a class. So we're going to be getting into IDs and classes later on. And I'm just going to get rid of that second div down there because this was just a duplicate of what we had before. So going back out and looking at the code and how it's been structured, we see that there isn't really a lot of change, but it has helped us section off what content is being contained where within our HTML document. Just did a little source format there so that it's a lot more readable here. So we've got our opening div, closing div, again, an opening div, closing div, and now we can really begin to build out the content. And aside with divs, uh, so divs are block elements. We've got what's called a span. So if you actually did want to have these inline, we could do something like this, where we would do a span instead of a div. And it probably typically wouldn't be used in this type of fashion because our structure would make, uh, it really wouldn't make much of a difference. Uh, but if you wanted to have, to be able to identify this particular part of the code and you want to maybe apply some styling at a later point to it. That's where, that's where you would use span because span actually, there shouldn't be any change to it. Uh, span actually doesn't make anything look any different uh, as opposed to a div where we'd actually have a new line of code. The importance of spans and divs are going to become more evident as we build out and we talk more about styling. What this does is this gives you the ability to actually isolate and section off different parts of the content so that you can apply that styling later on, which we're going to be going over in the course.